July 2021 marks the 25th anniversary of a small project to get me started to learn web development and coding. I wanted to build an educational website about the Aztecs, Maya, and other civilizations of Mexico and the Mesoamerican culture area. Edgar's Mesoamerican art page was once the premier site in the field on both Google and Yahoo. All the photos, videos, captions, and pronunciations are mine. Looking back on the past 25 years, this site has been continually evolving as I've been learning new coding languages and technologies. It is my lifetime project, and here I'd like to share its next step. I would like to start with an example from the Olmec page, which has always been a fascination and a passion of mine. And you can see that there are quite a few items on the Olmec Art 1. I have eight uh, for this uh, page at the moment, but I'd like to add more. And so I wanted to go through the process of adding new items, which can be tedious if I do this the regular way. It's required me to log into the host site to update my databases and upload my files. I therefore made a way to speed up the process by writing my own program to update and upload directly from my laptop. I started an upload application called Tapanko, after the Yaki word for altar, and it runs on the WAMP platform. WAMP stands for Windows uh, as the operating system, Apache uh, server, MySQL database, and PHP uh, server software. This requires me to run two servers, one for the main application and the other from the directory to which I'll be testing the uploaded files. You can see that I have a series of selector menus at the top of the page. And uh, just as an aside, the wallpaper is an altar from the site of El Tajin in Veracruz, which uh, I use because it was my way of sending information and items directly to the space beyond. So uh, that was um, the theme that I was going for with this um, application. I can uh, toggle between the Mesoamerica and uh, Maya databases. I uh, will have options to choose whether to um, post a new item, page, or a YouTube video link. Uh, when I toggle between the two databases, the Maya or Mesoamerica, I have uh, different menus. It's, uh, you can't really see them right now because of the way that uh, the Chrome browser is um, uh, displayed. But uh, what I'm going to do is go through the Olmec pieces, which we were just looking at in the um, live uh, website, and uh, review the pieces that I already have in the collection, and then go through the process of updating and uh, creating a new item for this page. I am right now posting to my local host, but in one of my next videos, I'll show how I will be uh, uploading the images and uh, posting the new database contents directly into the uh, live website. So I can remotely access and update the database and uh, save a lot of time in the process and have something that um, it makes sense, uh, something that is consistent for the Mesoamerica and um, Maya websites. And I have a database for each of these sites. I could scale if I ever decide to take on a Peruvian R page, but that would be a much bigger project ahead. I declared PHP classes to control the database uh, reading and updates. I um, am uploading and editing with a sample from the Olmec because I always test my projects with samples from Mexico's first major civilization. It's my Mesoamerican equivalent to the Hello World test. I have also set up curl requests to look first in the website for valid images. And if they're not there, then look in my uh, uploaded directory and see if the uh, pictures uh, show up uh, in, in that area. And you can see that uh, upon this posting, it uh, has updated the uh, my local uh, database and also uploaded the image at the same time. So you can see the name, the uh, image file, the uh, source of the uh, image, as well as a thumbnail, which comes directly from the upload directory. So everything is working. Thanks for watching this short introduction to the Tapanco project. The next part will show how I create a new page for the Maya site, and I look forward to you joining me for the demo.